to a Labor Day tradition. It's been a tough summer in Sonoida. Fire after fire put the town on high alert. But this weekend, a reprieve from the hardship as people celebrate an event that's been the pride of the town for about a century. Here's 9 on your sides, Max Darrow. Sonoida is a small town full of big tradition. Just down that road, one's going on through Labor Day weekend that always manages to kick the dust up. Let's get to it. Get behind her, you don't want to be in front of her. Sonoida's 102nd annual Labor Day Rodeo. Holy cow. This year with an ever so fitting slogan. <laughs> Out of the fire and kicking ash. Fire season was hard on Sonoida. Tom Hardesty is in charge of it all and says this year's rodeo has a special feel. It's brought more people together probably. So that's why it's important because now everybody really appreciates it. About 10,000 people expected at the Santa Cruz County Fairgrounds over the course of the holiday weekend. It's a big feat for a small town. For a place that's 952 people, you bet. Yeah, that's, that's a big deal. We have 10 times our population here in four days. This year, they've added the wild horse race to the main rodeo show, but for the most part, they're sticking to tradition. Bull riding. Slam the head and let's get it on. Barrel racing. Off the final obstacle. Team roping. Will this be the first team to stop the clock? And the other rodeo staples. I think one of the things uh, that makes it so special is that people know what to expect. It's a tradition. And that's what these small communities are about, are about tradition. And if you are looking for something to do tomorrow on Labor Day, the rodeo is going on all day. The gates open at 10 a.m. It's 15 bucks to get in. Kids 6 to 12 are 10 bucks. And kids under 5, well, they are free to enjoy the show. Val.